hello welcome to my channel this is snakey beauty empire here is an afro wig with a stitch braid frontal wig at the front watch me as i do this tie so that you learn okay all right i have my frontal already this is the frontal and this is what i used to achieve this tie i have to section and cut out the size of weaving i want Put in small, small weaving at the middle to secure the lines so it will not disturb me when I'm braiding. So this is the way I achieve this stitch braid without gel, without rubber band. Okay, so I cut out the first hair at the front and in between because you can see I've secured the size of weaving I want already. So instead of rubber band or gel or edge control, I have to weave the hair as I cut it out. I had to weave it from what you can see in the video. You see me weaving it. This is the size of stitch braid I need now. So I have to cut it out one after the other based on the size I want. Okay, I'm not making use of rubber band. I am not making use of gel or edge control. I'm weaving it. Okay, each one I cut, I secure it by braiding it so that it will not lose. And this keeps it very neat, very tight, and it helps the line to come out very well. You see how I'm braiding it? You have to hold it tight and braid so as it will define the line. You don't have to struggle with getting those lines again that make you call it stitch braid. The way I cut it out is not too tiny and it's not too bold, but it's well defined. Okay, the size is moderate, not too small, not too big. Okay, if you anyhow you want it, if you want it tiny, tiny, or you want it bold, is your choice. But you, if, if you braid it like this, it will be well secured. You don't have to struggle to get the lines again. So this is the pattern I'm using to achieve my stitch braid. You can see it's a wig already that I'm making. It's not on somebody's head. It's a wig, okay? I'm working on a frontal, okay? So, and if you watch me, you see that I'm cutting the lines all through the um, frontal. It depends on how deep you want your stitch braid. Here, I'm working to the end of my frontal because it's a 13 by 4 um, frontal that I'm using. So it's not very deep. So I'm working all the way to the ending of the frontal so that the weaving will come out well and beautiful. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is the process. And in case you need a frontal, whether with on or attachment for braided ways, you can place your order. You order from Nikki Beauty Empire. We do venting here. You can see how neat our frontal and our venting is. So you can feel free and place order for your um, lace wigs from us. We are in Portacot, Nigeria. Place your order for frontal, full lace, closure, Kim K, etc. From Nikki Beauty Empire. We do realistic venting here. Our venting is very neat and looks very natural. Okay. Yes. Trust us with your order. So after this process now, I will go ahead and do the weaving. You know, the first one here, I did not weave it. So I'm starting my weaving from this first one to make it give me that realistic look. So as I weave now, you have to join it with the next one. And But this is where I'm putting my Ghana weaving because I'm doing Ghana weaving method at the same time. But anyhow you want to add your attachment, don't allow it to be thick. If you make the braid to be big or the weaving to be big, it will cover the lines. So however you want the size of your um, weaving to be, let it not cover the stitch braid you've already done, okay? If you want the braid, the weaving to be very bold, you have to cut your weaving, the attachment wider. You can see how I've cut out my own already. It's not too big, it's not too small. So as you're weaving, you will be joining little little attachment and you'll be joining the braids the ones you cut now to get your stitch braid you'll be joining it as you weave 
the more you go you join them together that is where you're creating your weaving from and you make the weaving to be tiny so that your stitch braid will show well it will be well defined if you cut it make your weaving big by adding plenty attachment where you're doing the ghana weaving it will cover the braid so you have to make your weaving to be slim and be at the middle of your stitch you created and you can see it it's well defined the stitch braid is very clear and beautiful so this is how I got my stitch braid without gel, without um, rubber band and it really gave me what I want. I don't have to struggle with the style again. It's just very neat, very beautiful. I had to do one. I was able to do two. So you have to keep doing the process all through. If you want to do it one side of your braid, fine. But here in this video, I had to do and do all over the fronter for me to get the style I want to create because I'm working on a wig already. So here is the finishing look of my stitch braid. I did it on this fronter and it came out very beautiful. I made it for children. There is no baby hair here. So you keep watching our videos. In one of our videos, you learn how to do baby hair on wigs. So here now, no baby hair yet. And the final look, you can see baby hair. You can see Afro wig. You can also watch our video to see the way I made the Afro wig. The video is already here. So check the next video and watch how I did this Afro wig. You can also watch our video.